My name's Hannah, and behind me is beautiful Lake Tahoe, California. And today I'm gonna to share with you how changing my surroundings helped change my life. And while not everyone is negatively affected by urban living, many are. And for those that are, I hope this helps. I lived in a city for six years while attending university. Not only was it an urban city setting, but it was a dark, gloomy, and rainy part of the country. I was constantly fighting anxiety and depression, and I didn't realize at the time how much it was affecting my mood until I moved all the way across the country to a place with over 250 days of sunshine. Seasonal affective disorder is real, and much of it has to do with how much sunshine you're getting. Not only did I move away from a city in an urban setting, but I moved to a place surrounded by deserts, mountains, and beautiful trees. Traveling in a truck camper almost creates a minimalist lifestyle. Everything you own takes up a little piece of you. So by having fewer possessions, you're able to be more free and less owned by the things that you buy. Since a truck camper is such a small space, it forces me to be outside more, allowing me to wake up in a new place whenever I want with no one around, and giving me the ability to enjoy the silence or take in the sounds of nature. I'm flooded with inspiration when I wake up, open the door, and find myself in a desert with nothing around for the eye to see, but wild horses and their trail of dust they leave behind on the horizon. Or the feelings I get when my eyes wander to the endless night sky filled with billions of stars and remember that I'm just a tiny blip on the radar and so are my small and insignificant problems. There's something incredibly peaceful about walking amongst giant trees. They're like ancient ancestors guiding me through the forest as sunshine peeks through the trees lighting the way. Birds swoop down and call out, seemingly dancing to a babbling brook nearby. My favorite though is the ocean waking up to the sounds of waves crashing right outside my camper's door, smelling the salty sea air flowing through my open windows and across my face, seagulls calling and dancing in the sand. There's truly no other feeling like the freedom of being with nature. Crowded public transportation, horns blaring, people yelling, bumper to bumper traffic, concrete buildings, high rises, smogged out skylines. All of these may seem like trivial problems that you're used to facing every day, but studies have shown that these everyday stressors of an urban city life can actually affect your physical and mental health. Urbanization is definitely a reality that our population is facing. More than 50% of all people live in cities, and by the year 2050, that number is expected to hit 70%. Studies have found that if you live in an urban area, you're more than 20% more likely to suffer from an anxiety disorder and more than 40% more likely to suffer from a mood disorder. Why is this, you ask? It's the constant noise, pollution, traffic, and overall chaos that causes overstimulation and chronic stress on your nervous system. There's a specific area in your brain. It's right here in the middle. I can't quite get to it, but I swear it's there. It's called the amygdala. The amygdala is responsible for sensing danger in the environment around you. And when you live in an urban city setting, your amygdala is basically active all of the time. So this causes constant stress on your nervous system 24 seven. Ecotherapy is a new field of study that focuses on a strong connection that exists between time spent outside in nature and reduced anxiety, stress, and depression. Interacting with a natural setting offers so many therapeutic benefits to your health. It helps lower blood pressure, normalizes stress hormone levels called cortisol, and calms the body's fight or flight response. Why is this all important? All of these factors can cause serious harm on your body when they're elevated, damaging blood vessels, increasing cardiovascular risks, and seriously affecting our mental health. The problem is many of us spend years of our lives in these stressful settings. So instead of shrugging it off and saying, well, it was only one time, that's not the case at all. We're exposing our bodies and mental health to stress and anxiety for much of our lives. But don't worry, you don't need a truck camper or a van to spend more time in nature. You only need a tent and a backpack. And I still use those today when I feel like exploring on foot. You just have to take action. Making a change now is better than never changing at all. And I promise you, your mental health will thank you. You'll feel better, you'll have less stress, and you'll just feel more at peace when you're outside. So make that leap, go outside, and I can't wait to hear about your adventures.
Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos on my grand adventures. Bye.